Having been driven back, the Empire retreated from Barius, and Squad 7 began its return to the capital of Randgris. The scouts were due back a long time ago. I haven't heard a thing. Welkin, we should look. The enemy could be closer than we think. If you get hurt! We're outnumbered. Everybody take cover! Come on, Isara! Now! Right. Uh, uh, Welkin? Where are we? Is everyone alright? It looks like we got separated when that blast threw us down here. Alicia, there are probably still Imperials camped out up there. Are you hurt anywhere? Do you think you can walk? I think I'm fine. Ah! Scratch that. I think my ankle sprained, actually. Sorry, I know it hurts. But you've got to tough it out for now. Of course. Ready to start moving? Let's sneak out of their perimeter without being spotted. Wow, it's really gotten dark. The lack of light means it's harder to see enemies in the distance, so watch out. Ow! Is your ankle gonna make it? Sorry, I don't know how much I can run like this. That's all right. You set the pace and I'll follow. Is that sound a mortar? Have they spotted us? No, their aim is too far off. They're probably trying to scare us out with it. If we're careful, we can predict where they'll fire and steer clear of the target area. My turn, okay? Mm. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Hey, Welkin, what's that light? Oh, that's a luciferant. It's bioluminescent, the same sort of thing as a firefly. Hey, wait. The luciferant feeds mostly on manure. There could be an animal trail here. With luck, it might let us sneak past without the enemy spotting us. This is Ponicera. What's up, Welkin? It's a wild herb that works well on bruises. Just have to grind the stem and leaves down. Alicia, let me put this on your ankle. It... it kind of stings. But I think it hurts a little less now. Thank you, Welkin. Okay, let's push on ahead. We might find more Ponicera growing nearby. Searchlights. This is bad news. What do you figure will happen if they see us? 
They'll radio our location to the mortars, and we'll see them land a whole lot closer. Not high on my list of good things. We'd better keep our heads down out here. to go. Hostile sighted! Take this! Yes! Hostile sighted! Moving out! Here we go. Alicia, here's some more Ponisera. Let's get this on that ankle. All right. Oh, thanks. It hurts even less now. That's good, but still, don't push yourself. Gotta love nature. My turn, okay?
Here we go. Ooh, there's some more Ponisera again. Oh, the pain's mostly gone now. Thanks again. I'm just glad it's working. So, Welkin, um, is that stuff edible? Why? Are you hungry? Huh? No, I'm just... I wondered if I could use it in a new bread recipe. Oh, I see. Well, the flowers have a sweet nectar to them, so it could be good. Ah, you tease me. We're sneaking around the woods and you're thinking of baking bread. I don't want to hear it, nature boy. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's move on. Enemy sighted! Okay, this is probably a safe distance. I wonder if Alicia's almost here. Where are you, Alicia? Maybe I should go back. Moving out! Green. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Looks like I managed to sneak past all right. I wonder if Welkin's almost here. Where did Welkin go off to? Is he still out looking for herbs? Ready to go. We should be safe here, at least for a little while. Let's look for a spot where we can rest. Right. It's too dark to cover much ground even if we tried. How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far on it. No, it's not too bad. Don't worry. This here is called aloe severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. A general out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. He had his own share of worries, though. My mom died as a casualty of the First European War. The war won him respect and adulation but it also cost him the love of his life. I think that always weighed on him, that question of what he fought the war for. I had no idea. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Oh, Welkin. You find the boss and Alicia? No, still nothing. Your own brother's gone missing here, and you'd rather be doing maintenance work than look? Making sure the Edelweiss is ready for him is the best thing I can do for him now. <sighs> You're Squad 7's only tank pilot. If you pass out on us, 
We're all toe up, you hear me? Getting a good night's rest is another thing you can do for your brother right now. I understand. Thank you for your advice, Largo. Oh, sure. <laughs>